Let's see here. Hollyhocks all past their prime. A Mexican petunia. And the unknown rose, which has been blooming its heart out all season. The currants are rather sunburned, but the crabapple is happy. I'm hoping that as the trees get bigger, the currants will survive long enough to not be quite so blasted by the sun. And here's the other tree to offer them shade, another apple. And you can see my unfinished project, a hardy hibiscus, which is a lovely deep pink, a white salvia greggy, a bit buried in the Bermuda grass, this will bloom later in the day. That's my portulaca at the catnip, which partners up so nicely with the California poppy and the other salvia. I put two grapes on this arbor. They're both seedless ta table grapes. This one's green. And this one, when it has fruits, will be a red. The green grape has given us a cluster of grapes already this year, which is a lovely flavor. And this is a messily plum, which needs pruned back. It's getting too tall. My goal with the hedgerow is to keep things espaliered and kind of short. Like this plum tree here. No, sorry, that's a pear tree. I need to put in stakes and because I've pruned it so short, I want to prune that as a step over a spalier. And I have a native lantana just starting to bloom. A golden currant, a bit straggly at this time of year. It has very pretty yellow flowers and I'm hoping for fruit eventually, but not just yet very tall marigolds and beyond that what's called a pride of Barbados which has very pretty red and yellow flowers mine hasn't bloomed this year I'm not sure it will last year was first year in ground another golden current which will fill in eventually and this is a ruelia it's very short-lived flowers but they're quite pretty and another pair that's meant to be trained down as a step over, along with a blanket flower. Some little zinnias. This is the Mexican plum. It's a bit overtaken by bindweed. I need to get in there and weed it. And some of the marigolds over here are blooming nicely. There's a guara just starting to bloom. I'm not sure if I can get a good focus on the pretty little flower. No, it doesn't look like it. It'll come out later and be more Mexican oregano. In here, kind of hidden in the uh, marigolds is a jujube. And this is a chili coffee fig. I have to prune back the crepe myrtle, but for the moment, there's my Turk's cap. I like the shape of the flowers. I don't know if I can get a good focus on that. and a beauty berry. I have two, one's over by where the hollyhocks were. The blossoms are nothing too special, but the berries later in this season will be brilliant purple and they are edible. I have a little plum here that uh, I cut it back and then it died back to rootstock, so goodness knows what I'm gonna get. And in here I have boysenberry, and marionberry, which need to be staked up properly. Two Nandina that I need to uh, finish digging out. I started and got no further with it. The horseradish, which is doing very nicely. And sweet potato, which is also doing very nicely and doing a good job of taking over where the uh, rhubarb has gone dormant. And the bignonia 
and various pots of things. The big Nonya is throwing a couple of little blossoms there for whatever reason. But that's the hedgerow, that's the garden. This section's looking a bit tired. The two peach trees I put in there both died wet feet this spring and the daylilies are done and dormant. You can see the herb gardens over there against the fence. And then this persimmon is a giant Fuyu persimmon on this side. A lot of weeding to do, but that's the front garden.